Gemini, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you're interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's over at 7D Tarot. His information will also be down below. Let's dive right in. Big changes are happening and new chapters are being formed. So there's a completion cycle that's happening right now. So right now you're asked to simply allow this process to evolve and don't feel like you need to have to force anything or aggressively make something happen. Just know that you being in a confident, clear headed um, approach to this situation will allow you to evolve out of this because major changes are happening. Major shifts are happening. And truly the best thing you can do for yourself is just be truly listening to your intuition. What that means for you. Build that connection with yourself because the more that you build that connection with yourself, the more that you will have the understanding of where your life is going, which will give you the certainty that you've been seeking. We don't truly know what is going to happen and how it's going to happen. That's up to the universe, but we do psychically pick up on what the, the energy around what's going to happen is, right? And the more we are connected to our spirits and our hearts by honoring our needs, by asking our heart, heart, what do you think? What should I do? What are my actions, right? We ask our heart, not our head, because when we ask our heart, the heart we know is going to guide us to our highest good. The head is going to take you out, bottom of the fear pit. That's what that ego will do. For me, it shows up on the left side, kind of like a thinking, like, ah, like in your, in your head, you know, it's like, ah, so just feel out what it feels like for you. But for, for, for myself, heart, right side, safe, right? Safe, like a pillow. And then the ego on the left side is like, ah, so just feel that out for yourself because it's so important that we really start to implement that right side heart feeling or whatever it is for you, but always asking your heart because this is what's going to get you to the next step. This is what's going to build that um, sense of, of, of confidence within yourself. That's going to build that, that that's going to alleviate um, patterns, programs, beliefs, filters from your from this human experience, right? Because we all go through this life, right? We're, we're first incarnated here from babies. And then as we evolve, we, we move forward. And of course we go through particular experiences. And if we neglect our needs throughout this human experience, then we quickly fall into a fear pit lifestyle, which means that we constantly make decisions that don't feel good to us, but we do them because they're familiar. We don't trust ourselves. We're not getting results. We're looking for in our outer world because we're not, we're neglecting our inner world's needs. And in return, we live a life that we don't connect with. It doesn't resonate resonate with us. We can't even believe we're in these such these situations. And it's only because along the way we have not been stopping and listening to what our heart, the universe, signs, symbols, and guidances have been showing us. Synchronicities have been showing us. So get clear about who it is you are and what you want. So you can apply that focus and that energy into your tomorrow, because that way you'll be able to get everything that you want. And that's what's showing up for you here with that world card, right? And with the page of pentacles, it's letting you know that there are different chapters for different things. And so there's no need to get um, um, feel like you're not where you're meant to be or that you've wasted time or that things are not going well for you because there is always new beginnings around the corner. There's always new beginnings with that ace of cups. And with these new beginnings, it's going to come a lot of healed wounds. So now a lot of, a lot of the time, excuse me, a lot of time, a lot of uh, most of the energy that needs to be focused on right now, Gem, is honestly just about you focusing on what brings you joy and passion, the outcome of your desire, not where you are, not where you've been, but where you want to go. Have that as your projection, right? Almost like you want to daydream about it, right? You want to create a, 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 a vision, right? Visualize this, right? It's like, I, I, I want a dog. So what do I do? I visualize me playing with my dog, what kind of dog it is, what, 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 you know, what their energy is like, right? And this is how I've always manifested all of my dogs. As you know, I'm freaking dog obsessed. I love dogs. They are seriously like the little earth angels on earth, right? Dog love. I mean, it's incredible. Anyway, I digress. So how I've always manifested all my dogs is I just think about it and I tell it out loud. Wow. They're going to be just like this. And I had the most amazing dog years ago. And, uh, I always say, wow, this dog is going to be just like this part of this dog. And then I had three other dogs. And then they're going to have a mix of this dog and this dog. I make it up. I make it up as I go and I, and I proclaim it and then I just let it be right. It's not like you have to, you know, 
obsess over it. It's just like, this is what it is. This is what it's going to be like, right? And if that's all it is, is just start to plan your life. This is what it's going to be like, because this is your life. And if you have a hard time understanding the concept of setting an intention and under and, and just trusting the process, I highly encourage you to go check out some Dr. Joe Dispenza videos or some law, law of attraction videos, maybe some Abraham Hicks YouTubes. You know what I mean? All on YouTube, all free for us to, to acquire this information. And it is quantum physics. It's science. You know what I mean? We've been talking about quantum physics for quite some time. Albert Einstein, um, you know, Isaac Newton, it's all mystics speaking here, right? Through the divine guidance, right? Think and grow rich. You know what I mean? This is, this is all scientific stuff here. So if you're having a hard time believing in the process and, and not being able to move away from your past um, by creating your tomorrow from the thoughts that you think, dive into it, learn more about it. That way you can learn who you really are and become your most powerful creative self. If you'd like to learn more about your angels and guides and how to connect and how to automatic write, which I highly recommend for all of us empaths, please go check out Michael Sandler on Inspire Nation. This is very important because we all must learn how to um, connect and automatic write and and be part of our community, right? Be part of a, uh, find our soul people. You know what I mean? We've all got to remember who we are and we're not going to, we're not going to always connect with those around us. And in order for us to evolve on our journeys, in order for us to grow, we have to make the moves. We have to take the actions. We have to choose. It is our choice to get anything we want in this human reality, but we have to choose. We can't sit in a, in a time and space that doesn't feel good to us. We have to go out and, 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 make it clear that we want to discover the magic. We want to feel the magic. There is magic everywhere. There are many different dimensions to this one place that we're inhabiting, right? And it's all here for us to experience and to feel. In order to access it, we have to take the plunge. We have to initiate contact with our spirits, with spirit, with our angels and guides, right? We have to initiate it. How do we initiate it? By honoring our needs first and foremost, because if we are not honoring our needs, our vibration isn't high enough to feel them. You honor your needs. You follow your intuition. Always stop focusing on the things in life that, that are very much a temporal state materialism, right? Anything along the lines that is an attachment to a materialistic thing. Uh, and, and even the problem of something. So like weight loss, anything that the ego is creating anxiety over, we don't want to focus on it. Instead, we want to focus on the bigger picture because right now there's growth and there's transformation happening and the universe is really pressing Gemini not to resist this because your next phase is going to be fantastic. So right now, just be open to learning everything and be open to reaching out and really discovering more about who it is that you really are. And so right now it's time to build up that strength within you. This is why we have the build strength card. It's time for you to get clear about who you are. That's why I honor your spirit's needs at all time. Learn about the law of attraction. Learn about what it is um, to connect with your angels and your guides. And just know that being in a a peaceful environment, finding yourself relaxed, not finding yourself in a space where you are reflecting on the past. Because the past, again, it's like going through grade school and then redoing the grade school, right? We've already been through it. We don't need to repeat it. You know what I mean? So that's why it's so, um, so, so, so important in order to have that rebirth that we also have an awareness, a conscious awareness to what's going on in our circumstances in the present moment. And that happens when we honor our spirit's needs, right? Life is meant to feel very peaceful, very go with the flow. And when it's hectic, it's because we're inside hectic. We're off our life's purpose and we are not in an in aligned place. We're not living our soul's path. In order to get back on our soul's path, we have to break it down. And more often than not, we have to discard a lot of things that we've allowed to come into our life. We've invited energies and entities in by opening up thought portals. Every time we think a thought, it opens up a portal. At the end of that portal is a door. And beyond that door is all of the energy and entities attached to that thought. So if you're thinking of negative things or, 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 or judgment or criticism of any kind on anybody and yourself, then you're inviting all of that same energy into your life to inhabit. And that's why a lot of the times we don't feel good in our lives because we're encouraging and inviting this negative energy in. We've got to make sure we open only open the energy portals we are fully committed to. And that should be abundance. That should be love. That should be a success right? That should be service. You know what I mean? Those are the, the, the portals we want to open. We open up those portals of opportunity and in return, we will receive all of that energy and all of those opportunities. And that's truly what it is about. So here we have it. Oh my goodness. Gemini, Moss Spirit, Surrender Now, and the Burning Bowl Ritual. So this is about letting go of anything that you've been thinking about, obsessing over, worrying about, perhaps maybe write a letter, write out, get out all the energy on paper. Because you know when we write things out, specifically that's why um, 
automatic writing is really great because we can discern from our ego and from what is our truth, what is our soul self, right? So automatic writing, really nice. However, when it comes to a situation that we've been obsessing over and really making a priority, even though it shouldn't be, that's when we want to get it out and, and let it go, right? We've got to stop. Anything that we are obsessing over means that we're trying to control the situation. And you just want to be mindful of this energy because it's an illusion. It's not real. The universe has everything planned. All you have to do is sit back and let it guide you through the whispers of your heart, right? Through the angels in your heart. What does your heart tell you, Gemini? You listen every time and in return, you will have the life that you came here to live. All right, beautiful. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.